Guys, welcome to the channel. I'm excited to share with you my latest watch purchase. This is the Gen 3 Green Monster. This was just released in Japan. Uh, this is reference SZSC005. And uh, as soon as I saw this, I knew I had, <laughs> I had to pick one up. I mean, check out this dial. This is one of the coolest dials that I've seen from Seiko. It's very difficult to photograph. My iPhone has had trouble uh, capturing the, the true colors here because in some lights it's almost black in some lights it's this vivid saturated teal and then others like right here it's more of a muted jade it just changes so much and I find it to be uh, just just awesome to look at now it is a sunburst effect and you don't see a whole lot of graining coming from that center hand stack uh, it's more of an inky feel kind of uh, Kind of like that Seiko Patty Turtle, how it how it uh, changes with the light. This kind of has a similar effect, and I just think it is so much fun to look at and to, to notice how it changes. Now, when I first saw the monster years ago, I thought, oh my goodness, what a dog. That is the ugliest watch I've ever seen. And since then, I've become a huge fan of this. This is probably my favorite uh, modern Seiko diver design. It's it's super bold. It's very well executed, and it's completely original. And I just like how in the in your face it is. I mean, check out this bezel. Look at the brushed stainless steel one chunk bezel here with the uh, engraved indexes, the large scallops, and how they translate to the case, how they match. Uh, right there, as you can see, it's just a really cool execution. The bezel is partially shrouded. We have a knurled crown at the four o'clock position. Uh, it's just a really fun watch to wear. Now I'll show it to you on my 7.25 inch wrist so you guys can see how it fits, how it looks. I'll also throw this next to my Seiko Marine Master, Seiko Turtle, uh, just so you guys can get a good comparison uh, next to some of Seiko's other watches. Uh, it wears very well despite this being a large watch. And uh, that's kind of the case with Seiko divers. They're very wearable watches. And I think this is one of the most enjoyable. I love the applied indices. I, you know, they're not quite the shark tooth uh, form that you get in the Gen 2s, but uh, they're still applied and I think they look really good. They're a little bit more like the original Gen 1 in form. And I just like the execution here. It's very well done. Now this watch is housing Seiko 6R15 movement, which is a nice movement, especially at this price point. Uh, this retails for 60,000 yen or right around $550 with uh, today's exchange rates. Now, I know you could buy Gen 2s years ago for half that price, but with Seiko, you know, for a while I thought that they had moved on from the Monster. They discontinued doing their classic black and orange ones. They did release a Navy Gen 3 last year, but it really didn't uh, pick up much traction seemingly online. So I thought, you know, Seiko had moved on and to see this colorway come out, uh, I'm super glad that they haven't uh, moved on from this piece because this model is so iconic and I love this design. Apart from the orange, I think this is the coolest color that you can buy. So 550 for this, uh, I think that's definitely fair, especially if they do move on and they don't release, you know, another black or orange version. I think this is the one that you'll want to pick up. It's so dynamic, it's so sharp, and that dial just changes so much in different lights. This is this one's really fun. So just wanted to give you guys a good look at it. I'm really excited to have it. Uh, I bought mine from JapanOnlineStore.com. That's where I go when I want to find any JDM watch, be it Citizen or Casio, Grand Seiko or Seiko. Kenta always does a great job at uh, finding me what I'm looking for. I always ask him to get a perfect alignment uh, and he, and he uh, definitely obliges in that respect. So anyways, guys, I'll put a link to Kenta's website. If you're interested in this one, I think it is going to sell very well. Um, I think it is. Uh, I think it's a good one to get. So anyways, thanks for watching. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.